I convinced Strongarm I had a seventh gear that let me- Travel through time. You have told us that story on several occasions. Just keeping things live until we hone in on that Decepticon signal. Speaking of which... There is still too much interference, Sideswipe. So I said to Strongarm, I'll race you, and I'll be back here half an hour before we started. <laughs> Might want to give your jaw a rest, Slick. Since we scanned camo modes from that off-roading jeep, you haven't been silent for five seconds. Five seconds? <laughs> I can do that. Strong arms optics bugged out, and then... Optimus, have you tried recalibrating for... <sighs> Optimus, are you hurt? I am fine, Windblade. Since my power was drained by my fellow Primes, my stamina is not what it used to be. Although I can feel myself slowly improving, longer missions like this one require some adjustment. Is there anything I can do to help? No, but I appreciate your concern. Let us rejoin the others before Drift dismantled Sideswipe. so big that Razorpaw will have to thank us. Take him down first, then worry about praise. Stay away from him. Excuse us, Windblade. This is an excellent test for my students. The test is over. Razorpaw won't be happy. Razorpaw is never happy. Optimus to Scrapyard. Fix it. Do you read? Optimus Prime, how delightful to hear from our stealth squad. You never call, you never spite, you blight, right! Fix it. We need data on a pair of torpedo minicons with the ability to manipulate temperature. Huh. Running that through the Alchemor's Prisoner Manifest now. The ship's record returns two names, Swelter and Glacius. They can project extreme armor-melting heat and circuit-cracking cold, respectively. 
and they have teamed up with various Decepticons during their careers. Was one of their former partners named Razorpaw? I see no reference to a Razorpaw in their file, nor do I see that name anywhere in the Alchemor's Prisoner Manifest. Thank you for your assistance, Fixit. Pretty much every Decepticon we've met since we came to Earth was on the Alchemor, but this Razorpaw just happens to be here? I don't like having so little intel, Optimus. Especially when you're not feeling so well. Your concern is irrelevant, Windblade. Our mission to capture Decepticons takes priority over everything else. Let us continue our search with expedience. Still no clarity? I am hearing a faint signal through the static up ahead. You know, Optimus, Wendy had a point back there. In case this razor paw is sneakier than we expect, maybe the three of us should check things out first. That way, if anything goes wrong, we still have our big gun. A well-reasoned plan, Sideswipe. But I prefer to end this pursuit as swiftly as possible. With our team at full strength upon initial confrontation with our foes, isn't up for this. He was at low ed before those Minicons showed up. Even if that is so, Optimus is too proud to admit to such a handicap. And I tried to give him an out that wouldn't offend him. I can't believe I tried not to offend someone. He's Optimus Prime. We have to protect him. He is a Prime. He knows how to take care of himself. The trick is protecting Optimus without letting him know we're doing so. Give it up, Windblade. We don't know what kind of fight we might be getting into. Optimus has to look out for himself. If you want a job done right, The interference at this location is particularly heavy. We should fan out and search in pairs. Uh, stop! Windblade, what are you doing? I'm, uh, simply clearing the path before a hallowed prime. It is an honor, sir. Honestly, Windblade, this is not necessary. I can scout on my... Down! Oh. Ah. Stay down, sir.
think slick. Do me a favor. Next time you want to go whitewater river rafting, bring a raft. Uh. You're limping. Nothing a little primer and paint can't fix, sir. An impressive display, Sideswipe. Dude, not even in my top ten saves. I appreciate your selfless action in the face of such a dire threat, Windblade. Sorry. Reflex. Don't we have minicons to catch? Now will you let OP take care of his own bumper? If anything were to happen to him when I could have prevented it, I'd never forgive myself. Ugh. any lower on my energon I'll fill up on yours you need to see this Autobots why didn't you say so one is weaker than the others obviously there's nothing wrong with my optics but am I supposed to waste my precious energy trapping prey myself I told you he wouldn't be grateful. If we play this right, you should wind up with four bots to siphon from rather than just one. Fine. But we'll lure the weakest one to me first. You can have the scraps when I'm done. found the source of the interference. And a perfect place for Decepticons to call home. Looks like an automobile graveyard. <sighs> A military installation, perhaps for the storage and repair of vehicles. No heat radiates from their engines. They have not been utilized recently. This door's been utilized pretty recently by the looks of these scorch marks. We shall break into teams. Windblade and Sideswipe, explore the interior of the building. Drift, you and your minicons, will accompany me and investigate the perimeter. Optimus, if I go inside, I won't be able to employ my turbines for flight. I'd be of much better use outside. With you. Agreed. So after beating Strongarm in four straight races, I moved the Scrapyard's chronometers forward and told Strongarm- I am turning off my audio receptors. No, please. Let us do that for you, permanently. That's two gift wrap for Razorpaw. Let's go assist him with the others. No, why? Razorpaw won't even acknowledge we did his work for him. Just keep thinking about those scraps. <sighs> scraps. Ah! <gasps> that 
I was sideswiped. I'd recognize his squeal anywhere. The signal we've been following is back. Stronger than ever. And it's right on top of us. Quickly, Windblade. Why don't you let me take point, Optimus? I can... Perfect. The weakest Autobot steps right beneath my claws. Ah! Windblade, move clear. That is an order. Uh, Optimus, please get away from here. Uh, Razor Paw is after the weakest among us, and right now, uh, that's you. Uh, you think the Prime is my target? You couldn't be more wrong. Just in time to save the day. And I'm sure we'll be showered with appreciation for it. Training the sick and injured is so much easier than slaving to bring down the able. Optimus. <laughs> Razorpaw, make sure you save a little room. Save room? That's a main course compared to this trifle. Don't touch the other one. Uh. Glacius and I maxed out our circuits for you, and the only reward you give us is... The fact I let you continue to exist should be reward enough, you little... Razorpaw, Swelter, this isn't the time to battle amongst ourselves. You were, uh, pretending to be more injured than you are. Our enemies seem preoccupied with weakness. I wanted to give them a target that appeared even more debilitated than you. You never needed protection. I did. And my certainty only made me more vulnerable. Don't be so hard on yourself, Windblade. As errors go, ones of concern for others are by no means the most egregious. I consider myself fortunate that you would go to such lengths for a teammate. Thank you, Optimus. I truly am honored to... <laughs> Sideswipe? Drift? Is that you in there? Stand clear, Windblade. I will have you both free in a moment. Being encased in metal has finally forced Sideswipe to be silent. So please, take your time. Hmm. What's that, Slick? You think you can break your record and be quiet for more than five seconds?
I'll provide a distraction. You have the stasis cuffs ready. Good to go, sir. You guys don't have a plan for catching this con yet, do you? Cause I... Ugh. My bad. I'll try to cut him off! For you, I was expecting that. I'm ready for all your. Sometimes the smallest cons cause the biggest problems. Well, if I'd been invited to the strategy session, maybe I could have prevented Torpor from zapping the two of you. Oh, I'm sorry, big guy. We just didn't have time to wait for you. And it wasn't a strategy session. It was just planning an attack. You two don't think I'm smart enough for strategy and planning and strategying? We think you're... Handle with care, Russell. That's your college fund in there. Uh, my college fund is a box of old toasters? Toasters made during the aluminum shortage of 43. In a few more years, they'll be worth a bundle. If they're still in mint condition. <gasps> I can apply to community college. <sighs> Maybe clown college? Why so grim? Uh, grim? Strong arm and bumblebee think I'm some kind of not smart bot. They didn't actually say that, did they? No, but they were thinking it. Strong Arm's always talking about stuff she learned at the police academy. <sighs> I bet if I went to that school, I'd do awesome too. Awesomer! Getting into the academy is no walk in the dark. Stark! Park! There's a very challenging entrance exam. I spied a copy of it in the Alchemor's data cylinders. You did? Yes! Why? Even if I can't go to the academy, I can still prove that I'm smart enough to get in. You're jiggling my actuators! Are you sure you want me to offload the entrance exam directly into your brain? I'm sure! I'm sure! Okay, this won't hurt. <laughs> I think. <laughs> the tickles. Yeah, all done. You can start the test whenever you... Grimlock? Question one. Finish this sentence. The shortest distance between two points is... Uh, hmm. Got it! The shortest distance between two points is even shorter when you're in V mode. Ba-boom! Huh? I think the answer you're looking for is a straight line. Uh -huh. Maybe I am a not smart bot. Well, don't get down on yourself. That was only the first question. Most candidates study for the academy exam for months, Grimlock. I could download a study guide directly into your memory. You can try the test again after you had time to review it. 
Bring it on! One study guide coming right... Russell, fix it. I could use you at the stasis pods for a sec. On our way, Lieutenant. We'll be right back, Grim. Oh, but I'm ready now! could most accurately be described as optimal. Accurately? Optimal? You don't sound like yourself. Well, it seems a bit ludicrous now, but after the debacle with Torpor earlier today, I became convinced that you and Cadet Strongarm considered me intellectually inferior. Come on, Grim. We would never say that. Out loud. Alas, I sought to prove my mental acuity with the aid of the Alchemor's data cylinders. The cylinder is completely empty. Grimlock must have loaded its entire contents into his memory. But but that cylinder contained 3.667 yottabytes of data. That's several thousand times the sum total of all human knowledge. Whoa! That has to make you the smartest bot ever, Grim! That's a lot of data to take in. Are you sure you're feeling okay? Definitively positive. However, according to medical journals, my neural pathways will soon commence disintegration, creating worsening headaches, temporary paralysis, and eventually I'll become a completely immobile hunk of durability. No. Grim! What? Oh dear. Grim, we didn't mean to make you- We would never. Now, now, I assure you, I hold you both blameless. If anything, my own insecurities led me to this predicament. Something like this happened to a friend of mine once. We safely discharged the data out of his brain into the sky. Unless your friend was a Dinobot, the structures of Autobot Cortexes are too different for the same solution to succeed. But the plan could serve as a blueprint. Fix it. Can't you find another way to drain the data out of Grimlock before it does any damage? I suppose it might be Positron. Postulate. Decepticon activity at the Experimental Energy Research Laboratory. Tapping into the facility's exterior security cameras. <gasps> Matching visuals to prisoner database. The fugitive is Simicor, a scientist and deployer incarcerated with two minicons, Axiom and Theorem. Simicor is as prone to fury as he is to genius. When his previous experiment failed, he took out his frustration on his lab mates, violently. Strongarm and I will head for the laboratory. I didn't hear my name included among your mission team, Bumblebee. I'm worried that field work might make your condition worse. I hesitate to state the obvious. But if I remain behind, your mission is 71% more likely to meet with failure, and 54% more likely to meet with humiliating failure. <sighs> There's no time to argue. Let's rev up and roll out. <laughs> This is the whole facility? I suspect the bulk of the structure sits underground. Most particle accelerators are circular tunnels 1.6 miles in diameter. Ugh. Headache? Very minor. Fading already. We're running out of time. I'll have this door open in a cycle. There are 900,000 theoretical combinations, but only six match the wear patterns on this keypad. I believe we may have found a way to return Grimlock to normal. We're headed to you now. We'll be here. 
Bumblebee out. What would a Decepticon want in this place? It is my hypothesis that Simicor is after the secondary control circuit, which provides backup power for the particle accelerator's atom-smashing beam. This circuit could conceivably function as a space drive relay in a Cybertronian starship. How unusual to find such deductive skills in a Dinobot. Smart move to surrender, Decepticon. Hand over that circuit board and come quietly. Strongarm, I don't think Simicor is... Surrendering? No. But thank you for moving closer. Nice angle of attack, Axiom. I was following your lead, Theorem. Spread out! My apologies! Grimlock, pick a Decepticon and punch! Buffoon! You are no fighter! I thought Dinobots were renowned for their strength and ferocity. That was my understanding as well. I shall deal with you after the real threats are dispatched. The circuit board! I didn't have time to assess them all for liability. <gasps> the data transfer overrode my instinctive combat reflexes. Oh. You would know. Hmm. Chance of success unlikely. circuit board and assist Bumblebee in strong arm. But how? Surprise attack. Too predictable. Set a trap. Too time consuming. Think! Think, but think! No! Stop contemplating! Just pick a course of action and move forward! Attention, Dinobot. Please look out your observation room's window. I have begun the charging process for the particle accelerator. Give me that circuit board, or when the beam is fully powered, high-energy electrons will smash your friends into subatomic particles. Warning. The particle accelerator cannon will fire in ten minutes. Careful, Professor Fumble Digits. Thank you, Dr. Obvious. Axiom, theorem. I suggest you return to me, unless you want your molecules scattered along with those of the Autobots. I can't 
here, move! Or transform! We're stuck to an activated electromagnet. And that sound? The particle accelerator? Charging up to fire at us. Grimlock! Get us off of this! I can't hear you! Who's there? Russell, with Vixen and my dad. We think we have a cure for you. Our comrades are diabolically trapped and minutes away from dire consequences. Best to implement your cure quickly. But we can't be sure it's... Quickly! Grim? Are you... you? Who else would I be? But, uh, how come I can't move? I must have made a miscalculation. This is wearable. Terabyte! Terrible! Hey, Grim's not totally immobile. And you're improving rapidly. You should have full range of motion in a few minutes. But we need to free B and Strongarm now! I don't think I'm in shape for the rough stuff just yet. Then you'll have to win a battle of wits. The Particle Accelerator Cannon will fire in five minutes. Come on, Dinobot. Your friends or the circuit board? Is it truly that difficult a choice? Semicor, if you want your prize, you're gonna have to work for it. Come to the observation room and bring your superior intellect. No more delays. Hand over the circuit board. One more step, Banana Brain, and I snap this in two. What do you want, you insipid oaf? I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you to a test of intelligence. If I win, you release my friends and we leave here with the circuit board. If you win... I pummel you senseless and pry the circuit board from your lifeless fingers. I was gonna say I just hand it over, but okay. You do realize I'm undefeated in this kind of combat. Then you shouldn't have any problem answering this question. Oh no, you challenged me. The first question is mine to ask. Um. If a Cybertronian unirail leaves Kaon City going east at 1,000 mechanometers per orbital cycle, and another unirail leaves Nuon City going west at 63.6, at what point will they meet? Uh, huh. You call that a tough question? Ha <laughs> ha! Uh. We have to tell him something. Anything. I am working on it. Maybe we should make this multiple choice. <laughs> the particle accelerator cannon will fire in two minutes. Uh, 63.6. I'll carry the two. Wait, I got it! It's a trick question! Underbite destroyed Nuon City, so it doesn't have a unirail anymore. Ba-boom! I... I suppose technically that's true. <laughs> Fine! Ask your question. Your friend's time grows short. Oh, I'm gonna ask it. My question? Ho <laughs> ho. Which I will now ask. <laughs> the particle accelerator cannon will fire in 30 seconds. Fix it, give Grim a question. I'm no good under pressure. What's a question? <clears throat> What's red and black and blue? What's red and... Oh, I see. How very droll. Once again, you're insulting me, so I... Yes! Great time to get your groove back, <laughs> big guy. Ten. Nine. How do we get in there? It doesn't matter. There isn't enough time. 
There is if we take the shortest distance between two points. Two. One. So, can I be in the strategy meetings from now on? Ah, Simico and his buddies are snug as bugs in their stasis pods. You were amazing today, Grim. Taking down the Decepticon like that with all the other stuff you were dealing with? It wasn't so hard, with my natural combination of brain and brawn. Speaking of which, fix it. Do you still have that study guide? I devised a way to safely offload the guide onto this tablet, then specifically configure the tablet for you. Thanks! I'm gonna take my time going through it, and then I'm gonna ace that test. Um, do you have a version with pictures? For my next trick, an ordinary coin. Now watch carefully. Huh? Uh, I can't believe you're making me do this. You're the great Rustini. You love magic. Loved. Past tense. Hocus pocus. Try and focus because now you see it. And now you don't. Oh! <gasps> All right, let me interrogate Russell, Lieutenant. I know I can break him. There's no need, Cadet. I know exactly how Russell made the coin vanish. How? He dissolved it with a miniaturized spectronomic atom desequencer. Probably not. I suspect Russell performed a simple illusion masterfully. <gasps> See, when you think I'm taking the coin with my right hand, Actually, I let it drop into my left. Then I made sure you were all looking at my right hand while I said all those magic words. Hmm? So you wouldn't see me drop the coin into my pockets. <laughs> A little flim flammery. Magicians call it misdirection. Huh? Huh? Decepticon signal. Very close. Headed right for the scrapyard's front gate. Denny, Russell, fix it. Hang back. If this con's making a frontal assault, he must be pretty confident in his firepower. Be ready for anything. out so I can see your claws, steel jaw. Scorpionok. Brother Decepticon. You can't believe you're betrayed. What did he say? Something about being tricked by another Decepticon. Steel jaw was flim flam? Whatever the case, let's get him into stasis. Why would Steeljaw come to us if he was ambushed by another Decepticon? Steeljaw seemed delirious. He might not have known where he was or what he was doing. Grim, let's double check the seal on the pod. Pretty sure we're at quadruple check by now. You're right. I'm sorry, I just... 
I never feel comfortable around this con. Lieutenant, I have some information about not having information. Scorbinox's name is not on the Alcamor's prisoner manifest. Just like Saberhorn. Precisely. So I accessed the larger Cybertronian law enforcement database and found his rap sheet there. Scorpionok is an intimidator. He preyed on outlying communities on Cybertron, ones without much of a law enforcement presence. He'd pillage them, then tear the structures to the ground for pure enjoyment. How can a Decepticon have been on the Alchemore but not been on the Alchemore? Flim Flammery? There's an explanation for all of this. Steeljaw was trailing Energon when he walked in here. Maybe we can follow that trail all the way back to where he fought Scorponok. Let's rev up and roll out. <laughs> from Steeljaw's wounds. And it leads... through there. What is this place? The drive-in movie theater. Humans travel here in their vehicles and park next to these speakers so they can watch and listen to a film that's projected on that giant screen. A reward for their vehicles. Very considerate. Not exactly. Not here. I'm gonna kill Captain. Quiet, or I'll crack you two next time instead of the ground. Where are those insufferable speed freaks? Who is he talking about? Beckoning horizon, no steel jaw, no point in being here. <sighs> you got a lot of nerve wasting Crazy Bolt's time. This is the only warning you're going to get. I lead the island. Crazy Bolt's time is my time. And if there's one thing I hate more than anything else, it's any bot whining. <laughs> This is where Steeljaw told us to meet. Mm. Said he'd bring us elite warriors. Oh, scrap. We should never have trusted anything that deceitful Decepticon said. Scorponok is here to meet Steeljaw? But didn't Steeljaw tell you Scorponok was the one who took him down? Grim and I will cover your exit. What is it, Lieutenant? We've been tricked. <gasps> I'm gonna get up that chicken. 
the broken white line calls to me, Scorbanock. And Crazy Bolt has to answer. Illumination through acceleration! You had your one warning. Go! Freeze, Cogs! Can we just split this stationary scene, boss? Uh, I'll make it quick. But this time, instead of rewiring your equipment to project such a field, I brought my own. It also let me cast a barrier around myself to protect me from your cryo gas and pop your stasis pods lock from the inside. And it was so easy to hide. I just had to convince you to let me in. <laughs> so gullible. Just a couple of scratches. <laughs> He's on his way back here, Steeljaw, and you... No, he's not. Your friends are busy being taken apart by acquaintances of mine. Or the other way around. I'm fine with either. Just stay there in case I need you. Now excuse me while I reunite with some old friends. trip to stasis cons. If there's two things I hate, it's whiners and cowards! Fight, Dinobot! This is how I fight! Greetings, brothers, old and new. It is time to return to our work, and at last succeed in making this planet a utopian haven for Decepticons. Our work? Why would I work with you again, Steeljaw? You and that first Decepticon got most of us tossed back into stasis in the first place! And now I've freed you. And while you slept, I have allied with many Decepticons who will help make our dreams a reality. I don't blame you for not trusting me, Thunderhoof, but see for yourself. Go to these coordinates. If you do not like what you find, enjoy my gift of your freedom. If you're messing with us again... You have my word. Go. I shall rejoin you shortly. <laughs> they are so easily led. 
or is it misled? Now then, the last time I was here, you demonstrated impressive weaponry. I'd hope to take some with me. Steeljaw freed most of his old pack and took off down there. I see you've come alone, the inexperienced student. Save yourself, strong arm. Forget that. Kick his metal tail. I am more than experienced enough now to take you down, Steeljaw. Improved, cadet. But this is no sanitized academy exercise. In real life, enemies fight dirty! to a cadet. Not quite yet. <laughs> quite a decision you have to make, strong arm. Either let me go free or they'll all be squeezed to pulp by my subsonic field. <laughs> You won't hurt Grimlock further, and I'll tell you everything I know about Steeljaw. You know Steeljaw? I don't care what you know. I've wasted too much time being stationary when there are miles of road to be run. I'm going to... Stop! Enlighten me about Steeljaw. Steeljaw wants this planet for himself, because of its magic. <laughs> There's no magic here. That's what I used to think. But you haven't been on this planet long enough to realize its power seeps into you. I'll show you. Natives call this Flim Flam. <laughs> focus, focus, try and focus. Because now you see it, and now you don't. How did you... Grim 
secure Scorponok and Crazy Bull, and keep the Minicons unconscious. I'll be back! Tick tock, strong arm. Now, now, frustration never sold. I'm starting to like you, cadets. Where's Steeljaw? Gone. And he took some cronies with him. Fix it, we've closed the pods. Are you reading positive locks? Confirmed, Lieutenant. And the modifications we made are functioning perfectly. Subsonics should no longer affect the pods. Better late than never. Steel just sent his pack somewhere, but we couldn't see the coordinates. And he talked about forming an army with a bunch of other cons. An army is what Steeljaw wanted initially. If he's trying to build one again, that means he's probably learned from his past mistakes. And that makes him twice as dangerous. Well done, Steeljaw. These elite warriors of yours seem more than... that Scorponok chose to betray us, but I'd say that what you have brought us more than makes up for that scoundrel's loss. You're going to go far with us, Steeljaw. Very far indeed. <laughs> <laughs>